Today we're going to talk a little bit about newsletters. Awesome. But first I want to talk about how important are they and, and why should I use them? You know, they're really important. And today we're obviously talking about um, email newsletters. Sure. You know, so I think they're really important. I mean, they're just as important as maybe a Twitter campaign or, you know, a Facebook page <laughs> um, or a website, you know, because it's another way um, a brand or a company can be reaching out to their customers, mm -hmm. bringing them value, um, increasing that relationship what they have that they have with them. So it's just another opportunity to do that. Sure. And you first start out with a dirty word. We'll call it a dirty word. It is very dirty. Unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Uh, it does just hurt. The sound of it hurts. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, so um, with newsletters these days, email newsletters these days, people mm -hmm. have the opportunity to unsubscribe to your sure. newsletter, which means they're not going to get your emails right. anymore. So, you know, there's some things that you can do um, that are going to help that not happen, mm -hmm. you know, so, and obviously those are important because, sure. you know, if you've spent time on this newsletter, email campaign, mm -hmm. you want people to actually be reading it, mm -hmm. you know, so it's really important to keep those people happy. Um, so they're not going to push that unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Button. and you, you talk about it being valuable, that their subscription is valuable. Tell us a little bit about why you feel that they need to feel important. Yeah. You know, just like everything else, you know, if, if they're getting this newsletter, mm -hmm. and let's say all it is is talking about the company, sure. it's really not bringing value to them at all. Mm -hmm. It's going to bore them. You know, if they want to learn about your company, maybe they'll go to your About Us page on your website. Sure. They don't need to be getting a monthly reminder of the history of your company. Of what you are. Exactly. In 1863, we started the company. In 1863, we started the company. Yes. In 1863, you know. Obviously, yeah. that would get old. Yeah, you know, and so that's that's not going to be something they're really interested in. Mm -hmm. You know, well, it's not. I can promise you that. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's different things you can do with a newsletter to make sure you're bringing them good value through good content. That is, you know, benefit for them. You know, whether it's a 10% sure. coupon that only the newsletter people are getting or, you know, it's um, a special information of something happening in the future of your company that mm -hmm. they're the only ones knowing about because they're... They've subscribed to your newsletter. And that's sweetening the pot, like what you were talking exactly. about, right? Yeah, it's just making them really feel important mm -hmm. um, and wanted in this whole newsletter process. You know, they it's almost, I say this a lot with Facebook pages and Twitter pages, make them feel like they have backstage passes sure. and they're VIP'd in your company. You know, they're not just every other customer that comes in. They're on your newsletter list. <laughs> like, they're they're a big deal. They're right. VIP. Because they ask to be there. Exactly. So you got to make them feel wanted. Um, make them feel like you, are, you know, we're crazy about you guys so much that we put this thing together um, for you, for you specifically designed around you, exactly, and giving you those special bonuses. Is exactly. that a good word? Yeah, coupons or any type of saving sure. or anything like that. And yeah. you want to talk about respecting their time as well. Oh yeah. So what does that mean exactly? Yeah, um, we've done some studies, and it's really interesting because um, as a newsletter, you know, someone's put out a newsletter, you have eight seconds to make them make up their mind if they want to continue reading sure. their newsletter or not. Because people, they're doing emails, they're doing everything like that. So they don't have a lot of time in their day. So make sure the stuff you're putting out there, if it's written content, no longer than a paragraph. Okay. You know, if it's um, a text or it's a graphic, mm -hmm. make sure it's easy, to the point, simple graphic that they can glance at and be like, okay, I get mm -hmm. the gist of this, I'll click it. Or, you know, okay, it's just a paragraph. I've got time for this. Bullet points are really great for newsletters because they're really easy to click sure. or read through. So just respect their time when they're going through their email, when they've got tons of email already sure. for work or maybe from family or with, from friends. Make sure you're going to respect their time by the content you're actually putting in there. Is It's easy. It's still going to provide them value. It's quick to read. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's great for them, you know, because it's saving them time. And on top of that, you want your newsletter to stand out among maybe the other newsletters that they're also getting as well. Exactly. You want your business or your ideas to shine amongst yeah. other gems. Yeah, yeah. You know, so a lot of people aren't following this rule of <laughs> respecting people's time. So you'll definitely stand out if yours is quick, simple, to sure. the point. And you talk about getting personal. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, yeah, you know, and there's I get a lot of newsletters that say... Hey, subscriber, or uh, hello, reader, mm -hmm. or something like that. And I'm like, okay, this is basically just something they've sent out. A blast. A blast email, which when we hear that, when we're talking to a client, we hear them say, oh, we've been blasting stuff out to people. We cringe. Do you have that dent in your forehead? I, you... Oh, man. So many. <laughs> yeah. We, like, we cringe when we hear that word blast. Because sure. It's, and people know when you're blasting. That's the thing, you know? So that goes back to, you know, making it personal. 
by, you know, making it feel like they're really wanted, you mm -hmm. know, make it about them, not all about you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, throw in, there's options in some email, um, you know, companies and third parties that are doing mass emails, mm -hmm. where if you put them in your subscriber list, you can put their first and last name. So every email they're going to get sure. um, is going to say, hey, Drew, or to Drew, uh -huh. you know, something like that to our valued customer or something sure. like that because people aren't dumb anymore. You know what I mean? They, they, they're going to realize, oh, they just sent this to everybody. It's probably just some crap. I'm not going to look at it. Sure. You know, so there's different ways you can do that, but just keep going back to make sure your content mm -hmm. is great that you're putting in there. Make sure the content you're putting in there is bringing them value um, on a personal level, mm -hmm. you know? So that, that I mean, that's what I would recommend for that. And lastly, how important is it to your total media campaign as far as newsletter goes? Because it's something that I don't you know, really know that much about and, yeah. and haven't done myself a ton. Now we do it here, but you know, how important is it to your whole ball of campaign? Yeah. You know, and it, it's going to be different for each industry. I mm -hmm. mean, for some industries, it, you, this might not be a thing. I mean, if you've got your target market really doesn't do email that much, mm -hmm. then I mean, you don't need to be doing this. I'm not going to tell you to do something just to do it. Sure. I mean, if there's no ROI on it or there's no, sorry, return on investment. Sure. Uh, King of acronyms that I forget that <laughs> because I because honestly, sometimes. if it doesn't fit for your business, your skills, your time can be best used on something exactly. Else. You know, if if you're more of a, your audience is more just on Facebook, mm -hmm. spend more time on that. Sure, you know, don't invest time and money into a newsletter if no one's going to be reading it. Sure. Yeah. Nice. And if they've got questions, of course, how do they get in contact with you? Yeah, um, you can always just go to our website, websuccessagency.com, or you can tweet at it at tweet up. Uh, Wow, tweet at us <laughs> at um, at web my web success, mm -hmm. or you can just tweet at me at Mr. Drew Larison. So. And I can tell you, you're on there all the time. Sometimes yes. we tweet about nothing. Um, nothing. At Those all. are the best conversations. Yes. Little tweet, sweet nothings. Newsletters. I should trademark. That. You should. That's good. But newsletters, media newsletters, right there. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got any more more questions, just absolutely. Let us know. Yeah. Thank you, Drew. No problem.